is up my fellow mobile gamers in today's video we are taking a look at our other new hero for season two we got Burndal. he's a cavalry leading hero who actually has flying a flying hero as well i believe this is the very first flying cavalry hero that we have in the game also specializes in pvp as well as control talent wise i'm gonna say that it's probably going to be mostly pvp and control i see these two being like the best ones to take let's take a look at the skills we got our rage skill rage cost a thousand attack range is near deals damage to the target legion now check this out damage type is physical hero skill damage the real cool thing though is we get a debuff on the enemy target gets gains cowardice which means any normal attacks launched automatically miss for an amount of time uh, the first two levels it's only one second but then it starts to scale to two seconds two seconds again and then maxing this rage skill out we get three seconds of pretty much complete immunity to normal attacks because they're always going to miss the skill damage factor is pretty low maxed out it is only 1200 so definitely not a huge damage dealer so that's why i'm saying i really like the control aspect of this hero especially with the pvp and this is good no matter who you're going up against because every legion does normal attacks it doesn't matter what hero the opponent has now the way this character works is he does have some other passive abilities that kind of like they start off really strong and then as the battle goes on it kind of like starts to tick away that power. So this hero definitely wants to get in there, punch the enemy fast and kind of like get out. I would say not necessarily something for like longevity battles, but more you want to do quick PVP battles and just get in and start wreaking havoc on the opponent. For our first passive, we have death from above passive skill. Your Legion ignores a percentage of the enemy's defense in the field so you're getting the defense penetration all the way up to a maximum of 10 percent which is really strong for taking down tanks you're basically another tank killer as well kind of similar to the other uh theodore the other cavalry hero we got also really excels in kind of taking down tanks as well i mean pairing these two up is pretty strong you get the skill damage from Theodore, and then you're going to get like the control aspect from Ferrandel. Also, another really good combination, I think, with this hero is going to be the obviously the big, big damage dealer who's really strong. One of the OP heroes for PvP right here. Pairing them two up, mmm, devastating combo. Next passive we got is Song of Swiftness. Grants a buff when he leads a cavalry legion. So whenever he's the commander, the march speed increases and the damage dealt is increased by a pretty good percentage at base percentage, 4%. That's pretty good. And then when he's the deputy, though, you get hero skill damage increased and your rage skill cost is reduced. So one of the most versatile heroes in this game, put him at the commander position, put him at the deputy position. You Either way, you're getting some type of value and it really helps you for different situations and our last passive skill we have is aiming high now this is the one that kind of deteriorates over time so all your legions gain an attack bonus upon entering battle the attack bonus base stat is 20 percent which is good bonus effect though however is reduced by five percent every 20 seconds you are in the battle so right off the bat if the battle does go for more than a minute you are initially going to lose all of that attack bonus. However, you can max this out and it does go up to 40%. So you'll get that initial big punch of 40% attack bonus damage right off the bat, but then it will start to slowly deteriorate the longer the battle goes on. But like I said, this is a hero who really wants to get in, do a lot of burst damage really quick and then kind of get out. And then for our awakened skill, the awakened skill is pretty, pretty crazy. When he goes ahead and launches a normal attack against a legion that has that cowardice debuff on them, they have a 50% chance. I guess that's 50% chance. It just says 50% of inflicting physical defense break and a slow for three seconds, and it can be triggered once every five seconds. We're reducing our enemy's physical defense by 20%. Plus, you have to also remember our other passive ability, we're getting the defensive penetration. So we're really just taking out all of our opponent's defense 
absolutely amazing tank killers, destroying all of the front line. The tanks are gonna be destroyed. If they try and throw cavalry units, they're gonna be destroyed unless they kind of have these two new heroes kind of paired up, then it's gonna be a real uh, standoff, but really just takes out the front line like it's nothing. Super duper strong for frontline battles. You also get march speed slow on the opponents, which is not gonna really benefit the front line because the tanks and the cavalry units you're going up against, they typically aren't going to be able to run away at that point. However, I do like the slow if you do get to the back line, the cavalry units get to that back line and they go ahead and start wreaking havoc on the marksmen or the mages and you can absolutely melt someone's back line and there is no escaping after that. So a lot of versatility this hero can do front lining, take out the opponent's back lining. Absolutely an amazing hero. This one is another one that's kind of difficult to get. However, I will say that it's a bit easier because it's not in like the strongest Lord. Theodore is probably the hardest one to get. You can get Ferrandil through the hero wheel, but it actually like just expired, I think like a day or two, but we did have a wheel where you could get his hero shards. So it's a, a bit easier to get him, but again, it's a little bit of RNG. You kind of got to get lucky. It, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video. Stay happy, stay safe, and I'll see you later. Peace. Uh...